think with all of the construction that we've been doing uh, on Grant Street, I think people are finally recognizing, wow, this thing has come alive. It seems like, you know, things are moving a little bit smoother. Um, you know, the uh, exit ramps on, on the uh, Moline side and Bettendorf side, they're not nearly as backed up as they were. So that's pretty neat. So the number one benefit of this project is going to be um, increased reliability for everybody who uh, travels that corridor. Um, people are going to be shooting right into the downtowns and I think that's going to be beneficial for everybody because, well, you don't have to travel as much and everything's a little bit more connected that way. Uh, as well as just kind of adding to the, the view here. I mean, the Quad Cities, we've got a really nice view of the river and to add this beautiful bridge, like kind of like the Centennial, it's going to be neat. If you compare the long-term benefits to those uh, short-term inconveniences, it'll be well worth it in the long run. This is the major artery now through the middle of the Quad Cities, and we're all going to benefit from its reliability, uh, the ability to move commerce safely. And it opens up a, a lot of uh, a right away that's under the existing bridge for redevelopment. And we would envision that there will be some new developments that will occur uh, in that space. Perhaps leaving Grant Street eventually as the major thoroughfare and making State Street more of a calm street um, and then redeveloping that as a two-way walkable shopping area. Or the existing bridge was never designed to handle 70,000 trucks and cars a day. It takes very little for uh, back traffic to back up on this bridge. Of course the expansion, just uh, more room for people, because that's one of my fears, is to actually be stuck on that bridge with the two lanes. Um, so I'm looking forward to the expansion of the lanes. The new bridge will adequately take care of that. Plus the 14 and a half foot cantilever bike trail with a scenic overlook. Um, that's going to be so um, impressive in our skyline. Also with this bridge, we're accommodating uh, pedestrians and bicyclists on the bridge. You have an elevator that's proposed on the Bettendorf side to allow us uh, access closer to the river, and I'm all in favor of that, of course. And it will actually have an observation platform right out in the middle of the bridge overlooking uh, the Mississippi with a see-through glass uh, uh, portal. And I mean, it, it looks really cool. It looks super futuristic. And we'll all see the new uh, iconic structure and I think we'll all go, wow, it's, it's here. It looks a lot bigger. It looks, what is it going to be, like 100 feet taller or something like that? It's 85 feet taller than the current top spires. Just excited for the growth and looking forward to this new uh, fancy bridge we got coming up. The whole Quad City seems to be getting a facelift so it just kind of goes in concert with what's going on.